Welcome back guys, it's April and we gotta get planting and it is the 1980s. Me and Buck decided that we are gonna stay on the 80s. We may actually switch during summer so that way we'll have a full season of the 80s, harvest and then planting and then switch to the 90s, we'll see. Maybe we'll go all year with the 80s, I'm not sure. But 80s is fun, so we're gonna stick to it. But we got a crazy amount of stuff today. I actually just bought a sprayer too. This is the best way sprayer, it's pretty new. A little too new almost, but it's gonna be a perfect sprayer for us. Pull type, 90 foot booms. Oh yeah, Buck, uh, your truck is gone. I'm serious, your car is here, your truck is gone. Where did you put it? It's, it's, it's gone, I'm serious. There's no way that it's gone. You better be pulling my tail on the fact that this truck's missing. Also, take off your jacket. It's 65 out. I'll take it off. We're gonna have to do some searching. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Buck. What? What is that? Look on the roof. April Fools! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Next time I'm supposed to be giving you any sort of funds or help, do not come asking. Uh, How the heck did you even get my truck no, on the roof? Me and Eddie last night, man, we were drinking a couple beers and we had he had a he had his loader and I'm so done. I can't I can't put up with this. So I gotta go give the cattle some straw. Eddie you got the crazy keep... idea and I was like, Well, it is April Fool's coming up. Well, you're gonna be the one that finds out how to do it while you're sober. I'm gonna be eager to see how well you do that while sober. Yeah, I'll call Eddie up. We'll see if we can get her off. I want that thing down by noon. Okay. Right now, if we look at the menu, we have as far as crop calendar, everything is a go. Corn is ready to go, soybeans are ready to go, and we have $160,000 in our bank. We gotta pay for a lot of inputs, chemicals, seed yet, and don't tell Buck this, there might be some more land coming for sale, and I wouldn't mind it buying some more land because commodity prices are good right now. We're making a lot of money, we're making good money. So it'd be nice to get some more acres here. I think what would also be good is this field is in hay right now. I think it'd be good to rip it out of hay and put some type of crop in there because we still have these strips right here that are in hay. So we'll, we'll easily have enough hay right here. Hey, Buck. What? Do you want to go pick up some herbicide and some seeds? We got an order. We got a lot to pick up. Until you get my truck off the roof, I don't intend to be doing anything that you're asking of me. I got it. I got it, man. Here we go. Yeah! Frame better not be bent. Oh no, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna take the Ford and we're gonna hook up to the gooseneck trailer and just literally go pick up, probably half the trailer's gonna be seed, half it's gonna be chemical. Our wheat acres over there need sprayed bad. And we gotta put a pre-emerge down and we, got, we, we have a ton of spraying to do. Who in the heck parks a trailer like this? Okay, we got the gooseneck hooked up. Gotta lift up the ramps. <sighs> Okay, well, we got a load of seed and chemical picked up. I bought the seed from my seed dealer, Armstrong Ag Services, John Armstrong. Great dealer. If you need them, Pioneer Dealer. Does a great job. And then got chemical from Corteva. So we should be good to go. We have wheat over there that is literally a mess. So we got to get that sprayed like right away and then we can get planting here. Buck's getting all the cattle fed. He's getting them straw and hay. And then they should be good to go. And then basically it is a rush to get our crops in because right now if we don't get this stuff planned we start using losing a lot of yield here well time to unhook the wagon train i'm pretty sure we do have some soybean bushels it's not showing it but i th i thought i remember us having some soybean bushels still so i'm going to double check with one of these wagons the 4755 will be on a planter the 8550 will probably be on tillage this spring and then we'll probably have to put bucks 4230 on a planter i guess maybe the 4020 i don't know we haven't figured that out though but that's gonna be our corn planter and then beans we might plant beans with the drill okay moment of truth do we have some beans in the bins no we don't yeah we're empty okay i got all these wagons unhooked we got the wagon train going on here, bucks pulling in, things are moving. So before we get hooked to the sprayer though, I need to wash off this tractor. It has to be clean going into spring planting. Get the fenders. I really would love to have another tractor like this, like a 55 series, like a 4455 or 4655, but it's going to be tough convincing Buck to buy another one. I just think these are all around good versatile tractor. What you thinking, Bucky boy? Cattle have been done, the straw has been taken care of. I have to go and reorganize a little bit of the bales. It's kind of a little bit of a stack tipped over on the backside. Other than that, I'm basically going to get ready with you with the spring planting. This is ready to plant if I just spray this, pretty much. 
seed bed's already there, these weeds will die off. But do you at all want to work ground behind this building, rip up that hay field? Then we can plant can. that also. I'll have to go grab the will rich out of the middle of the field. Okay, yeah. Just use the Alice. That'll work good. I'll go get the bales reading on, and then I'll take the Alice and start doing that. Okay, so this is our wheat field behind here, which this can be ready in summer to goo, but it's really weedy, so we need to spray this thing. And this best way sprayer at 90 foot is going to knock out this stuff quick. Start refilling her. There we go. They use one of the tanks, so pretty much every fill of this sprayer is one of these crates. Tanks, crates, what do you call them? Crates. No, it's only half of one. Never mind. I'm wrong. I don't know if you know this, but that's why I love this bale shredder so much. It comes with a free bale spike. Ooh, get a poke, people. That is neat. I know, I know. Some of you guys are maybe going to say the sprayer's in the 80s. I know, I know. It's probably a tad newer, but there's no good pole type sprayer, so we had to kind of use this thing. Just pretend it's the 80s. <laughs> Buck, Buck, you son of a gun. <laughs> I thought that was good. Well, I guess I'm gonna run over some wheat too. It's all good. Uh, you're gonna leave tire tracks in there because I don't think those are care wheels. No. Yeah, you will. The it's... sprayer won't, but the tractor will. I know, it's fine. It's fine. I know we're gonna run over some of the crap, but we're gonna do a lot more yield. Son of a gun. Hey, you're leaving quite a track on that one there, aren't you, bud? It's probably fine. Buck, I think we might need two corn planters, man. We got a lot of acres to plant. Can you just deal with one thing for one season, please? <laughs> Can we go one season without saying we need to buy something? Is that too much to ask? Well, I got a problem. I got a big pile of cash in my pocket right now, Buck. You ain't got big money for nothing. <laughs> Gotta spend it. Come on, man. It's fiat currency. I swear I'm moving out of this thing once we get into the 90s. I'm having my own homestead. You're taking care of your own bills. I'm sick of having to deal with your finances. Dennis just keeps calling me down at the bank. So where's my money? Hey, we got we got money. If he needs money, he can have some extra. We got we got a little bit. Yeah, that's not your money. That's money from the bank. Okay, that wheat field is done. Probably should have done it earlier, but it's fine. Now we're gonna spray this field. The seed bed's ready to go. We worked it pretty good. We just need to kill these weeds off, pretty much. Okay, so we got this field sprayed here. I'm gonna unlock the sprayer for now. We got some more fields we gotta spray, but we gotta get planting. So we'll come back and spray those later. For now, I'm just gonna drop the sprayer off at the front here. And then we need another planter, badly. We got a 12 row planter, and I wanna buy another 12 row planter. Cause I wanna go big and expand our acreage. Buck doesn't, won't let me. So he only wants to buy a six row planter. Puts us in a crunch. Does this plant beans? It does, and this is 9.1 meters wide, which would basically be, because it's not a row, so I can't tell. So 9.1 meters wide would basically be, oh yeah, it's basically a 12 row planter. Okay, so never mind, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna hook up to the bean drill, and we're gonna start drilling some beans, and then Buck's gonna start planting some corn, I think. Okay, so we got the bean planter, and we're gonna switch this over to soybeans plant some soybeans, and then I'm also gonna put some liquid fertilizer down at the same time. So we got liquid fertilizer. Buck, you on the CB there? Here to be. How's she planting? She's a little, little slow on it. Kinda of feels like I'm tugging a little bit more behind me, but so far it's towing just fine. Okay. The rows seem to be good. Application rate seems to be stable. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna fill up with some liquid here. Get this going, then I'm gonna plant beans right next to you. Actually, shoot, I need more seed. Okay, so we got soybeans going in, got the truck over here, got some seed in here. We're gonna almost be out of seed and herbicide soon. We're gonna lower the planter, start planting. Okay, so we're in a situation, first of all, ignore these weeds. There's like a little patch here on this field that's weedy because the hired worker last time screwed it up. Everything else is good. We'll spray these later. But anyways, Buck is only planting at four mile an hour going up a hill. He just doesn't have the power. So we're kind of screwed because we need more like middle range horsepower tractors it seems like it's planting good though if we get out take a look yield bonus 65 percent which is good fertilized 97 percent okay yeah not bad 
It's a one degree incline at most. Just go up the hill. Fuck, you need a chip on that tractor, man. I need to go look in the magazines and see if I can't find something that has a repower in it. I can't pull up a hill with this thing. Whoa there, Buck. Spending over money, I see. Here's the difference. I'm not looking to go spend $60,000. i am looking for a 5000 on a trade. I'm joking. I'm joking. Come on, man. Okay, what are you thinking? I think like a... You can get a 55 series, a real nice 55 series, man. I'm looking for maybe a 5020 repower that has a Detroit in it. Ooh, that wouldn't be bad. Because then I would have enough power, but then I'm going to probably lose the cab, and that's the only thing that sucks, but it's not like this cab's doing anything anyway. The air conditioning doesn't work in the summer. It's colder than anything in the winter, because the heat is junk. I'll just have to look for that. I'll go, I'm going to go look in the papers. I'll finish this round. I'm going to go inside and see what they got on the papers. Okay, call Arnold, too. He's got a couple of deers out for sale, too, I think. Okay. I'll, t I'll take a peek at that. I'm just going to finish this round, and then I'm going to go see if I can do something, because I love this thing to death. But it can't do anything anymore, not with the size that you want to run. Okay, sounds good, Buck. Well, I talked to Buck on the phone, and I think he traded up, and they gave him five grand. So he basically traded down and got five grand for us, essentially. He got a 50-20, and he said it has a cap. He's going to be rolling. And then we got Logan here, run the Alice, working ground for us. Right as I started opening up the field, going down the middle, it's starting to rain. Gosh darn it. Well, those guys are out planting. There's a farm that came up for sale here. It's a piece of land. It's got a little acreage on it, nothing much. But they're not asking much money at all for it. If I look on the listing, and I'm thinking we could buy this thing. Buck's down for it, because he always knows you buy land. Don't buy equipment, don't buy fancy houses. You buy land, and you hold land forever, pretty much. And it's going to treat you well. I'm going to take Daniel's dirt bike. Check out this piece of land. There's a little pond here. It's right across the road too. So if we look on the map here, it's partial three. They're asking $10,000 for this piece of land right now. And I think this would be good to get this bought. We gotta talk to Buck though, see what he thinks. I'd like to put an offer in on it. Oh yeah, I like it Buck, that thing's roaring. Get the job on a lot faster than the other one. Miss McCarthy, she's selling her farm across the road. 10 grand is what she's asking for, it's a private deal. We gotta know in the next two days though. She wants to answer from us in the next two days. She came to us first. Well, it made five grand off this thing, so you might as well just take some of that and go get it. Yeah, and bright side, it's already planted. She had the tenant well, plant corn in it, and we can harvest it, so I say hmm. why not? All right, well, I'm gonna probably have to finish this round, and then how many more uh, pallets and bags of seed do we have? Uh, we probably don't have enough. How, how full are you? I got like a third of these tanks left. Okay, I'll run and grab some more seed then. I said we're gonna need a heck of a lot more seed. Daniel and Jared are going on the Alice and uh, the 47, so they're getting I it told done. you not to hire Daniel. No, Daniel was already rolling on the Alice. Oh no, not Daniel, sorry. Uh, uh, not the bad Daniel, good Daniel. Good Daniel, this guy's good. <laughs> sorry. You gotta find more people around here. <laughs> yeah, no, da bad Daniel's probably locked up by now if Roscoe didn't catch him. Everything's rolling smoothly, Buck's refilling. Get him, start tossing some bags to him. On field 30, this is how much Bucks got done. This is how much we got done with the hired helper over here. And then we got another hired helper over here, run 29. We're rolling. Okay, so we pretty much have all of our tractors used right now. All we got left is the 4020, our open cab tractors. You're not supposed to spray with an open cab just cause like the chemical could get in your face, but it's all good. I'm gonna spray this t uh, contoured ground right here. We'll knock this out, get this sprayed, and then this is probably going to go to corn, most likely. It was in soybeans last year. This is perfect. The wings literally go out to the contours. So they're at 90 foot spacing, and so is this sprayer. So it's just one pass through the field, and you're done. Okay, we're done. We're going to get her folded up and hit the road. And I think the bean planter is also done. We got that field of beans done. This field, we're actually just gonna end up no-tilling this field here. And then I might broadcast some manure over top of this, most likely too. But we got a lot of slurry and stuff we gotta spread still, but we're just so focused on planting, we gotta get seed in the ground. So some of these fields here, yeah, we're gonna have to spread some manure before we get this planted. There's a couple fields yet we can spread it on. Well guys, we're getting a lot knocked out. Honestly, like we have half of our fields planned, I'd say. Buck's rolling good over there. Hired helpers are rolling good. We're, we're moving. Anyways, this is gonna be the end. Got a lot of stuff coming next video. A lot of manure gotta be spread. Seed in the ground, chemical sprayed. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next spring planting.